Okay guys, I would like to do a review on my watch. So basically, this is a DIY watch. All of the items I either got from Shopee or from DHD Gate. So um, this is a Frankenstein watch basically. Uh, I got this strap from uh, Shopee. A friend of mine helped me to get then after that the casing body is basically i got it from uh shopee also it is basically uh, a famous brand i don't want to name the brand the casing i got from them um the movement is actually uh, is the mio miota is a miota 8251 so when you do a watch mod right you need to basically understand which casing can fit the movement some movement cannot fit the casing and also you have to take in consideration inside the casing there is a holder like for this particular one, the holder is not metal. It is actually plastic. So, not all movement can fit. So, you when you want to do you want to do a mod, a watch mod, you need to understand the casing. Because normally, when, the, when you buy a watch, they will ask or there will be a description. This watch can fit a certain movement. There will be a... A certain seller will put the name of the movement at the side so from there you can just buy so first when you want to buy a watch you can just buy the casing first know what casing you want the body the body the casing know what casing you want then secondly you need to reference find the reference which movement you need so from there pick a good movement there's a uh, there's a china movement there's a Japanese movement, there's a Seiko movement, the HD, uh, all the movement, the Seiko movement. Uh, there is also, um, I think there's only three movements. Uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese, Miyoto, Seiko movement. There also is the fake movement. Okay, like for example, like... Um, for Seiko movement that Seiko movement that is NH36 which is in Seiko is 4R36 so is the name of it lah and a hand NH35 and the 4R35 basically some which is the hacking winding and then the what is it called uh, what do you call it without hack lah basically and some of them in the um, movement there isn't any and also the next thing you have to check also what kind of uh, face you want what kind of dial you want then for example for this is a slim mod uh, i i kind i took the i can't find the same size uh, face for this particular watch so what i did was i took the face i got a matte paint i painted over and that's why it is a white face now basically it is it, it came this uh watch it came with a this watch came with a uh sapphire crystal you can see it's quite this uh, I got this um body in a good price uh, basically. I can't remember how much is it. So I also changed this uh what do you call this bezel is it? Yeah this uh ring. I got it uh maroon red. It looks it looks nice, it matches with the straps as well. Straps sorry. So I also changed the uh, hour hand, second hand, and also the minutes hand to make it much more pop up. Uh.
other than that um what more can i review about this watch um, okay let's talk about this uh Hold on, uh, let me check. Just, just guys, admire the Frankenstein watch. So, why is it this way? I kind of like, I wanted to have this like brass kind of look. So, I kind of like sand it and it looks nice because it was really rough was really rough so i did that i decided to scent it and after that hey, i saw it like a brass kind of finish and it looks nice so i just go for it like, basically anyways i'm uh i'm recording this video with my iphone 12 pro max i'm just testing the video out see how it goes so far i hope that when i load through youtube uh videos it will be it will be clear and the quality doesn't step down. Okay, uh, let's talk about the um, bezel. So this bezel is your aluminium bezel. Uh, it is the specs. Let me check check the specs. So basically, the specs is the inner diameter is actually three zero point eight millimeters. The outer diameter is basically 38 millimeters. I think the only good point about the the bezel is that it is really really good quality. I didn't even need to glue in this uh, bezel. I placed the bezel on top and it snuck really good because the there is a groove here that when you push it in actually it's kind of lock it it is i don't need any glue so it doesn't it doesn't drop i've been using this watch for a few months now and it didn't drop so i think it's a good it's a good uh snuck bezel okay let's talk about the stripes the, the strap sorry the straps right is actually uh manual Adjustable one. Uh. It, you don't need to use any tools to pry the the latch out. You can just push the lever down and you can detach. It is a good mechanism uh, because I don't need any tools. I just need to push and pull out easy and fast. For this, it is not real leather. I think this is a synthetic leather. Lah. So in due time, it will... It will, what do you call it? Crack. All those kind of stuff. You, you can really see it already. Lah. But it's not that bad now. Because I think it's still okay. It's still new. I think give it another 6 months, it will crack. But it is very cheap. It's worth it. I do... Recommend it for you guys. Okay, this is another review. I have another uh, three more watches that is mod. And I will review it in due time. So this will be my first watch review. Uh, check out for more posts, uh, basically.